front and rear here. I'm, uh, today I'm going to be talking about this beast here, which if you don't know what it is, it's the boot lock from a Volkswagen Passat. Uh, I had problems when I was removing mine because I didn't actually know how to do it and it took us a while to figure out. After that, I then encountered a problem with how to remove this lock module here. You sometimes need to remove the entire lock if yours is busted or if someone's, some arsehole has uh, damaged the lock this bit. It was really annoying is because I couldn't figure out how to get out. Firstly, I'll go through how to remove the actual this lock module itself from the rear of your car. Now, the important point on this is this little spring here, because believe it or not, this is what actually holds the entire thing to the car. It's held in. It's basically your entire module. If you imagine it like this in your car, what you've got to do is from in, from remove all the trim from the inside of your car on the boot, or at least the upper half. And then what you got to do is get a screwdriver in behind this little bit here and basically pop it, uh, basically pop it up like that. So you need to pop it up like that and what that does that releases the lock from the car because it's, it's held in somewhere around here if I remember right. Um, and then once you've, once you've lifted up this bit here what you've got to do is sort of pull the lock um, sort of like, where is it, if you imagine that's like the rear of the car, if you imagine this is the rear and obviously this is where you turn your key in that, you've got, to, you've got to lift up the lock from this side and then once it's done you've got to pull it sort of down and rotate like that and then eventually these parts here will pop out from um, the handles, these parts here is where the handles clip into, I actually brought mine but I don't really care because I was stripping it down anyway but um, the actual lock module is purely held in by this part here so obviously disconnect all your relevant electric points for your central lock and stuff you've got one terminal here to here I think there's two more inside the car for your lights and once you've all done that you'll uh, then you should be able to remove the module by lifting up this pin here so lift this spring and that'll pop out that's because that, this was common confusion when I first got the uh, module out I thought it was easy to remove this bit, but it actually stumped us. I can figure out the most complex problems, but the simplest things actually evade us. Um, I've had a play about night because I was basically bored and I wanted to break it because it's just a bit of a spare item, really. Um, if you need to replace this module here because it's broken or if there's an issue with it, uh, if this part of the lock barrel here is broken, you'll find that obviously you can see that mine's a bit loose here, but I could never actually get out and it was really bugging us because. It's, uh, you pretty much turn the key and the only thing that comes out is the key. Now I've been doing some looking into it, because when I first asked this post on the forum, someone said that you've got to remove, I thought when I asked them how you disassemble the boot lock, someone said you remove the spring and they were talking about this part here, but they were actually talking about removing it from the car and I was actually talking about removing this from, I was actually talking about removing this from this and believe it or not, what it actually is, We'll just show you the design. On the rear, you have. Uh, I just don't think I can get in this close now. Yep. On the rear, you've got the lock module here. There's, there's basically like a, um, just a, a sort of groove which holds everything in place on these little pins here. Now, what there is is down there, that little bit there. There's a little pin. If we can get to it, you can see that little metal pin there when I'm shining the light and me screw it at this point too. This little pin here, that one uh, right there on the edge of the video, this one here what it does you can see where I'm lifting my screwdriver goes up. Now that pin there is what holding this in place because what it's doing is it's it's like a sort of if you imagine a light bulb, um, if you imagine a light bulb when you turn it it's only on a one way collar um, and th then obviously when you turn it like that it's actually catching against that there so it's stopping to turn the full movement basically all you've, got, all you've got to do is lift up that like that you may have to use a screwdriver to pry it up very slight but be careful because you can break these little um, plastic things here but all you do is lift it up I think I used a screwdriver last time I did this you lift it and there we go don't stab your hand in the process. So we lift that. The screwdriver is under there like that. Lift it and 
There you go, you can see you can see down there that it's actually loosening from it. This gets really annoying this fucking thing here. Just trying to pop it out so I can show you the movement so that's the little pin down there. This little that bit there's the pin. And then all you're doing is pushing it further enough away until you can get it out and then that bit there you can see it's now turning and all you do is this little pin here just turn it until it's about 90 degrees and then what it should do is you should then be able to pull out the module like that and if we take a look inside you can see there is it's very similar to your normal lock barrel on your car there's these um, circular grooves here the, these sort of semi circle grooves these then allow it to lock into this underneath in the construction so if you see these little raised lugs here this little raised lug and uh, party lock ball you can see fits in like that these little bits fit through them gaps there at the top and then when you when you turn it and lock it in place this then holds it in place at 90 degrees and also it does lock in partly on this as well once you do that it's just a case of either repairing your lock or replacing it and then put your lock in as normal fits in 90 degrees it's only a one way fitment because these little um, these little notches here have got to go through them holes so it only fits in one way and then it's just a case of put it in should be all the way in and then just turn it back to the left and you might need to lift up this bit here again but if you then lift up that I do this while watching on the camera there we go so that's in and then just turn it slowly to the left like that and eventually it'll pop in this little pit here like that and then that is your lock then repaired and obviously you're ready to go assembly refit assembly of the car is basically just refitting and removal you've got to lift this up go into like that um, I've never actually tried it myself but you probably got to lift up this at the same time and then pop it down back into place after that it should be jobs are good and uh, everything's done so hope you like this video and I hope it helped you because it helped answer my questions when I was uh, a bit stuck and uh, thanks for watching